Oh, what are you doing? Oh, hey, John. <laughs> well, we are planting seeds right now. We're planting tomato seeds, getting them ready for the spring. Bunch of different kinds. So we're just filling up these plastic containers um, about this high. Okay, they're, um, they're the sort of containers that you get from uh, when you buy like punnets of sort of tomatoes and stuff, yeah? Exactly, it's like foreshadowing of oh, great. What's, what's to come. That's a good idea if you can collect up a load of those. Exactly. I think you had collected these ones and just kind of have a little... Actually, we found them in a skip. Yes. We found them in a skip. I was really lucky. I found about uh, 300 of them. <laughs> it's amazing. So we've got a bunch of different types of tomatoes that we've um, labeled. Well, you've labeled them and we've had them in water and we've just cleaned the seeds, rinsed them out and cleaned them. It says sourdough starter, but we're going to make up the name of these tomatoes, right? Yeah, but we normally we know what the name is. So this is a bit of an error. And uh, so we're going to have a surprise tomatoes because we yes. forgot what they're called. Uh, but I think they may be big black tomatoes, but big I can't remember. They're, they're really big black Russian tomatoes. Yes. So essentially, what are we doing here? Do you want to explain? Um, they're, you're, at, you're just putting them over the surface. Because we've, we've extracted these uh, tomatoes from... Sorry, we've extracted these seeds from tomatoes using... Like we just put them in water and put, just left them, left them for a few days. But normally you'd probably dry them, you dry tomatoes. But in this case, we're just going straight yeah. to the planting process. But actually, some of these tomatoes, they've started to chit. Uh, they put a little bit of um, the roots hot coming out. So hopefully this won't be a problem. Because I've never grown them with, I've never grown chitted tomatoes before. That's the beauty of it though. But what we're going to do is uh, spread these tomatoes over the the surface of the surface of the soil spread, spreading them out as much as mm -hmm. possible yeah i think these are those those really nice big black tomatoes they're I'm really expensive they're about five euros a kilo or something and uh so we just spread them out because the seeds generally you plant according to how big they are but in the case of tomatoes we we leave them on the surface just the surface or just below the surface in fact if you leave it if you just planted them directly onto the surface uh, because they're wet they're more difficult to distribute around the uh, but that's okay we'll just flick yeah. them with a with a sharp ended knife we can just uh, yeah we're uh, we're improvising and it's working quite well yeah and so we're gonna put them on the terrace with uh, watering about four minutes a day just just to keep them damp and they'll probably sprout very soon and then we'll get them going because we're on the coast at the moment we're on the south of Spain so it's uh, nice and warm here so we don't have to worry about the cold because otherwise you'd have to have a greenhouse or a, win yeah. or a window ledge for reference it is February 6th 2024 and it is 21 degrees Celsius yeah. today it's like we're uh, it's this is global heating isn't it this is the end of the yeah. world but uh we're making the most of it. <laughs> we might as well just enjoy the end of the earth, but mm -hmm. uh, with a few nice tomatoes at the end of it. Mm -hmm. So um, the final thing is we get a label. We got a load of... I bought those on Amazon or something. Oh, oh but not supposed to say you... It's Oopsie. forbidden to say you buy things on Amazon, isn't it? Bought but anyway, them somewhere. We bought them on Amazon, <laughs> just a whole big packet of these like things, and we, we're putting a permanent marker and just writing the name. Shall we call them. them Black Russian then? Yeah, I call them Black Russian. <laughs> black Russian question mark. What about Black Russian surprise? Yeah, 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 I like that. Black Russian okay. surprise. And uh, unfortunately, we've got a cat. So oh. we've got a, we're going to put, we're going to put a little mesh over them. Just because the cat keeps on digging up. We've got, we've got a nice um, aloe vera over there. Look at, look at this. It's beautiful aloe vera. And the cat keeps on digging it up. So we've put this wire in. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do something about. We're gonna have to really protect these seeds. Yeah. So, so as that, you can see, we've got three so far: an Rama on the vine, small cathedral, because they're from a small cathedral. Yeah. Well, I bought them next to the cathedral, and they are small, so. Yeah. Um, so, 
there's no, we're not really respecting any trade names or anything. <laughs> because uh, I tend to grow completely different tomatoes every year. Except that my favourite is uh, Stupis. So I grow that every year. But um, I tend to grow different tomatoes every year. But we're going to put these on the floor in a minute. But anyway, that's, that's how, that showed you how we make our, how we plant our tomato seeds. Yeah. In the sun, they'll be, they'll be uh, sprouting and they'll probably be, within three weeks, they'll be probably two or three centimetres high. Okay, bye. <laughs> such a good helper. So what's happening here then, Mel? Uh, with the plants and everything? Yes, getting distracted with that. So we've got um, a bunch of little small pots here with seeds growing in yep. them. Um, and over top we've got this bamboo trellis. It's kind of one of those extendable ones, so we've been able to extend it out to protect it. But Is why there... do you need the bamboo stuff? Well, we have a curious little kitty cat who likes to uh, explore in the in the dirt, which obviously would damage the the seeds and you know ruin the entire process. So we've got this extendable trellis on top of it as sort of a protection mechanism. And um, as the as these as these grow, obviously we're going to need more space. So we're thinking that we might just take a plant pot. Uh, flip it over and put this up on top of it. Okay, that's when when the plants start to grow You can move it up by just putting it on something Okay, that's, exactly. a, that's a good idea. Yeah, then that way the cat's not gonna get into it um, And of course eventually when it reaches a certain size, she'll lose interest So it's a really great tool if there's uh, anybody invading the space and you want to make sure that no damage occurs so We've got um, we've got a timer on, and our little sprinkler, and uh, we've got it going for four minutes every twelve hours, just to keep things wet since we're in a pretty dry climate and it needs the water. Um, so it doesn't involve too much maintenance, luckily. As you can see, we've got our seeds here. Are those those black Russians are right on the surface, and they're already yeah. they're already slightly chitted. Maybe some of them. They'd be better to have them slightly under the ground, but I think we're going to get some some uh, activity here pretty soon. Yeah. And especially like le lettuce is really quick to germinate, but these black Russians look pretty good. Great, yeah. fantastic! I can't wait until it all starts uh, sprouting and chitting. Yes, it's very exciting. Very exciting. Fantastic. And Shep's excited too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay. So Shep, what do you think of our irrigation system? Well, to be honest with you, John, it's absolute crap. It'd be much better in Scotland. But who okay. am I to say I'm just a dog? 